so Summer, when you got into the villa, you found kind of a connection with Cage. Mm -hmm. What was that like? So obviously when I started off with Cage, um, it, it's a lot of, it's, I don't know how to explain it. Obviously I've never been in a relationship before, so it was very new to me, but I did feel it was very, uh, it escalated very fast. And I definitely think we had a good connection. There was a lot of good attributes about him, but there was also a lot of red flags. Um, and there was a, our personality great on their own, but with each other, they just didn't work. Um, on the outside world because obviously entering the villa I was there to find a connection beyond the villa and obviously not personally just for the villa experience and move on so I feel like our lifestyles on the outside didn't match either so we clashed a lot in the villa um, definitely have a special place for him in my heart but yeah we just didn't work out unfortunately you mentioned red flags so what kind of things led you to believe that mm, this is not it? I felt um, belittled a lot by Cage. I felt like it was either his way or the highway. And I'm not very familiar with relationships, but I'm pretty sure that you need a compromise. Um, he was from zero to 100 and there was no like balance in between. Um, I did feel like Cage wasn't willing to compromise on things that he didn't understand from my point of view. I mean, I'd never even slept in the same bed as a like another guy, and now we are sleeping in the same bed. So it, it's it's overwhelming in the sense that I wasn't familiar with my situation. But I think, yeah, I definitely grew from that experience with Cage, and he taught me a lot as well. As much as there was negative, I cannot deny the fact that there was a lot of positive. Um, in the sense that he taught me to trust the process and he always tried to find like the positive side in every negative situation that we had. So Chris, you get into the villa, cool, it's quite a stay and there's, you're rejecting a couple of women. So how sure were you that the right person was going to come into the villa and find you? I wasn't, that's to put mm. simply. Um, I was never sure um, if anyone was going to come into the villa that would sort of pique my interest because I initially was under the impression that, wow, if there's eight wonderful girls here in front of me and I can't sort of build anything with them and they're all so uniquely different but yet the same in, in sort of, like an attractive girl has never been ugly. So all of these girls were gorgeous standing in front of me. But they're just the personalities weren't ever that 100% that spark that I've wanted. Um, and then Kitty walks in like way along the line, like, three and a half weeks in she walks in and then all of a sudden it's exactly what I've been waiting for so it's reassuring to know that I'm not a psychopath and that I actually do <laughs> um, click with, with people you guys are still over each other I see your hand is on her lap so that Aww. means you are still together is that are you guys confirming that uh we are still together um we are taking things slow because obviously in the villa it's a very heightened state lots yeah lots of pressure so we just want to sort of take things slow and see if we can actually last in the outside world yeah. and just take it step by step with no outside pressures yeah great kitty you had a smoothie when you came when you arrived into the villa <laughs> gave it straight to chris I like you... <laughs> so what it's was it about him <laughs> Yeah, about Chris. Um, yeah. So obviously, I, I came in and I, I had I had Chris and Assad um, on my list. The two guys that the only two guys from what I'd seen, it like maybe caught my eye. Let's just say that it's like people that I'd, I'd watched in terms of the guys on the show. And then so in uh, came with this, you know, sparked smoothie, and. Uh, you know, I took one look at Chris and I was like, okay, yeah. <laughs> and, you know, we, we, we had our, our chat just from the get go. It was just so easy going. Um, and I just felt so comfortable. I was very nervous as well. And I'm generally not a very nervous person, especially guys. Um, so for me, it was like, okay, Kitty, why are you nervous around, you know, this guy in particular? Um, and I wasn't like that, for example, with Assad. And I think that also definitely gave me like a boom. Um, this is definitely someone that I, I, I like and that I can see something like something happening. Um, 
and you know everyone had a very different perception of not everyone but a couple of people had a very different perception of who Chris was and I genuinely do feel that I came in with such a clear head and putting whatever happened before on the show like out of my mind and that gave me the chance to really see Chris and not see whatever had happened before um and I was I'm grateful that I did that because I really got to see a really good and genuine side um of who this fool (laughs) of who he is so Summer should know something about it because there was this Barbie and Ken thing. I believe I'd like to know about it. Everyone out there like would like to know about it. And you guys also have explosive arguments. So Summer, I'll start with you. Thoughts on that? Looking back, what do you think about that? And could you have done something differently? Okay, so Chris and I's relationship is definitely summed up as Barbie and Ken. But there was never that sexual chemistry, and I feel like that's definitely needed in a relationship. Um, if you've ever watched Life of the Dream House of Barbie, Barbie and Ken never kiss. They're just the best of friends that live together. So that's basically where that interpretation has come from. Kitty, what was it like when Chris was eliminated? Because my heart dropped. Last night was the worst episode for me. I did mine. <laughs> So did mine. Um, yeah, my reaction to it was quite a lot. I didn't realize I'd react so strongly. Um, but yeah, for me, it was just like, in my head, I was like, what, 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 what? This like, makes no sense. I just come in and I'm making this really awesome connection with someone and we're both on the same page and we both, you know, and now you're telling me he's got to go. And then like, I'm sitting next to people who I was so sure of the, you know, the, the things they said and whatever that, you know, that keep Chris in and then, you know, the sort of snaky behavior. And I was like, if I stay, I'm going to say something really, it just won't be great for me. Um, and I just feel like I'd made that connection. I'm not really one to, I've never been the person who, you know, really jumps around and makes a connection there, makes a connection there, whatever, like, either I make a connection or I don't and I did and uh, I guess you know that was that for me. Summer I think everyone would like to know this you and Josh right developed out of the blue how legit was that that connection? So I was finding it quite difficult to connect with Josh in a romantic way because I think our friendship was absolutely amazing I didn't know he had all these feelings for me prior to him actually telling me um and when he did tell me it was a it was a bit of a shock on my side but I was I was very interested to get to know him more I think we did spend a lot of time together um and now in the outside world we're definitely gonna give it a bash and he's definitely he's already asked me out on a date so we're gonna go on a date and just get to know (laughs) You know, before I get into sleep in the same bed as him, I'm going to do what normal people do and go on a date. Is that normal? I don't know anymore. Um, you put him for a chat. That's <laughs> He's going to pull me for a chat. <laughs> and, yeah, we're just going to see where it takes us now. We don't have any external... Um, we don't have the pressure of the villa. We don't have the pressure of the cameras or anything. So now we're just going to take this wave and ride it and whatever's meant to be will be um so yeah we'll see <laughs> Summer, yeah, he's like, great i just i just spoke to him Summer. he's great go for it okay oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay so kristen kitty who are you rooting for and what does um, the future look like <clears throat> okay look I, I think it's fair to say that everyone knows who i'm not rooting for <laughs> <laughs> um I, sh- I just want to make sure that i just want to be evident this is not a spiteful type of a comment um, I'm just not rooting for um, Libor just out of pure respect for myself um, that's just pretty much it um, I'm just saying if Ian can be uh, for four and a half weeks and what well, being single and survive <laughs> then there is no way this man is going to fall out of the villa while he's in relationship so yeah. you know it's just yeah would you say that Love Island really works? Like you can find, especially you, Kitty, that was so quick. Does it work? <laughs> Finding- <laughs> it 
it definitely, definitely, if you go there and you're honest to yourself and honest to everyone around you and you are just yourself, it, it will, um, it will definitely, uh, whether it be romantically a connection or not, it does work. I mean, it was very unexpected. Um, I am super stoked, um, you know, where it's going. So yeah, I love Ireland. It, do, it does the things if you allow it to, uh, to say the least. Speak for yourself. <laughs> I'm, I'm screaming. No, Summer, you know, I told you, I gave you my advice. If you yeah. take it, great. <laughs>